Welcome to The Savvy Investor, where it's our job to help you thrive in any economy. Retirement can be very exciting and scary for many people. You've planned and worked throughout your whole entire adult life just for this moment. You successfully accumulated the money you're gonna need for the next 25 to 30 years of your life, but have you ever thought about that little thing called required minimum distributions and the effect it can have on your future? Today on the show, we're gonna talk about RMDs with our expert and give you the information you need to know. Welcome to The Savvy Investor. Each week, The Savvy Investor helps viewers just like you create and grow wealth, protect and preserve it, and distribute it in the most tax-efficient manner while alive and after you have passed. Our goal is to make you a better informed investor that hopefully leads to better results, but certainly less risk along the way. You can have financial security in any economy. Today is the day you can take control of your financial future and eliminate worry about your retirement forever. And now, The Savvy Investor with your host, Michael Kinnett. I'm especially excited about today's episode. We're gonna be talking about one of the biggest hot button topics in retirement. It's called required minimum distributions. Now let's go back a little while. When you first started working, you started putting money into your 401k, your IRA, or something like that. And retirement was a distant thought, but still, you put money away each and every paycheck just to ensure you would live the retirement you wanted without having to worry about running out of money. Now fast forward to age seven and a half. Maybe you're retired, maybe you're not, either way, you're required to take your RMD. RMDs are the minimum amounts that a retirement plan owner, like all of you with a 401k or an IRA, that you must take out each and every year starting at age seven and a half. Now, if you fail to take out the correct amount of your money, if you fail to take out the correct amount of your RMD, you could be faced with a steep penalty. This penalty is the largest in the tax code and it's something I don't want any of you to ever have to experience. The big problem I see is that most retirees just don't know about RMDs. No one has ever told them about it. We hit the road this week to ask Americans if they know about RMDs, and here's what they had to say in our man on the street. Mike Macho, take it away. Thanks, Mike. We're back on the street asking people what they know about RMDs, required minimum distribution. You ready? Let's go. Has your broker advised you about uh, RMDs? Uh... RMDs are what? No. Required minimum distribution. What about required minimum distribution? Have you ever heard of that? No. no. Oh yeah, yes. I, I'm yes. in that phase now. So how do you feel about not knowing about something and, and you get taxed on it, whether you know it or not? I feel like that's information we should know. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we should really learn about this kind of stuff. I wish I wouldn't have to make distributions, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what they do. So there you go, Mike. Not a lot of people are familiar with RMDs, required minimum distribution, but something that we really don't know much about could really hurt us when it comes to our retirement and our retirement income. I'm Mike Macho. This is Man on the Street. Thanks, Mike. It's really great to hear what people on the street think about RMDs and whether or not they think they're prepared. Now, my biggest piece of advice that I can give you is to speak with a licensed financial advisor or a CPA who can help you calculate the right amount to take in RMDs and exactly when you need to take them. We're going to take a quick break here, but when we come back, we're going to sit down with Ed Williams. He's a CPA, and he's going to discuss with you the steps you need to take. This is some really great stuff, and it can save you a ton of money, so you don't want to miss it. You're watching The Savvy Investor, and we'll be right back. If you would like our guide to RMDs and your silent partner, call the number you see on your screen. It's a step-by-step -step guide to help you make smart choices about your money. Give us a call and we'll send out our guide at no cost to you. Interested in learning more about planning for your financial future? Join Michael Kinnett, host of The Savvy Investor and best-selling author in person for an important, life-changing financial workshop on the following dates and start taking control of your future. If you are ready to discover the financial tools and strategies that can help you build the retirement of your dreams, just call 1-800-787-SAVVY today to reserve your spot.
If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800-787-SAVVY. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work, to protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call us today for a free strategy session at 800-787-SAVVY. It's not too late to start protecting your assets right away. 800-787-SAVVY. Now keep in mind that just like any tool, there's the right tool for the right job and a wrong tool for the wrong job. We've just scratched the surface here, and you'll want to know more about how today's conversation might or might not fit your needs. Ask about fees, surrender charges, market risk, interest rate risks, how the guarantees work, liquidity, and much more. Remember, the right tool for the right job. Want to lower your taxes by as much as 25% this year? If you think Uncle Sam is taking too much of your hard-earned money, it's time you did something about it. Our specialists and attorneys have over 100 years of experience helping hardworking retirees just like you. For a limited time, we're giving $99 income tax preparation appointments to everyone who calls and mentions this offer. Our licensed team of professionals can help assist you with sound tax planning, financial planning, and investment management. Taxes are too important to let just anyone prepare your returns. Call ProStatus at 800-787-SAVVY or visit ProStatusFinancial.com to ensure you get all you've earned. If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800 787-SAVVY. Welcome back. If you missed anything or you're just tuning in now, we're talking about required minimum distributions. For most of your working lives, you have saved for your future. And all during that time, you forgot you had a silent partner in your retirement plan. That's right, you have a partner with the IRS. They've encouraged you to save, and now you're ready to retire and take your money from those accounts. They want their share. To make sure they get theirs, they force you to take money out even if you don't need it. How about that for a partner? And the IRS doesn't care where your money is saved. Any qualified retirement plan like a 401k, the 403, 457, even the TSP for you federal employees, the IRA, the IRS wants their money. When you turn 70 and a half, the government requires you to take out a required minimum distribution and if you fail to take it out, or even if you take too little out, they hit you with a massive penalty. So think about that. What constitutes a massive penalty? How about 50%? That's right, the IRS is gonna hit you with a 50% penalty and they still want their taxes. How about that for a double whammy? To explain more, I have Ed Williams, a CPA, here with me today. Ed has spent the last 11 years in public accounting for one of the nation's largest accounting firms, and he has been a CFO of various companies, including a publicly traded company for the last 11 years. Ed currently is the CFO for a financial services and marketing organization. Ed, welcome to the Savvy Investor. How are you doing today? Great, Mike. Thanks for having me here. So today we're talking about uh, required minimum distributions, and, and I think there's confusion just across the board as to what a required minimum distribution is. So, so let's talk just of the definition. What is, sure. what does RMD really mean? Well, a required minimum distribution is the amount of money that you have to take from your retirement accounts once you hit 70 and a half. And, and by retirement accounts, I mean your IRAs, your 401ks, your 403bs, 457s, 
the TSP, whatever it is. Whatever it is. So if you have a retirement account, if you've been stacking money away for these years, you know, you work for somebody and the company has been encouraging you to put money away, at some point you're forced to take it out. Absolutely. And that's seven and a half. That's seven and a half. All right, so, so when they take it out at seven and a half, it's taxed. That's correct. And how is it taxed? Well, it's taxed at the, their in incremental tax rate. So for instance, if they're a 15% tax rate, it would be at the 15% tax. So w whatever the ordinary tax rate is right. at the time, and, and the way we've always looked at it is, is it's at the highest tax rate because for a lot of people, when they're taking money out of the, their 401k or IRA, they're forced to take it out, even if they don't need it. That's correct. So, so let's talk about this. You know, we know before they turn 59 and a half, if they take it out early, there's a penalty. That's, yeah, and it's a 10% penalty. Which, which, and plus the tax. Plus the tax. Which, which sounds egregious enough as it is. Let's talk a little bit about that penalty when they don't take it out correctly once they turn 50, I mean, once they turn 70 and a half. So when they don't take it out at, after 70 and a half, it's a 50% penalty that they pay on the amount that they were supposed to have taken out. Plus, they still have to pay the tax on Plus it. Plus, they still have to pay the tax so on it. So it's just like an incredible whammy. It is an incredible whammy. So now, how do you how do you do this calculation? Because, you know, at, at 70 and a half, is it the same amount? What, what is the IRS doing to you here? Well, there's there are tables depending on age, life expectancy, things of that nature that they have to look at. The best thing would be for them to get with their financial advisor or their CPA and have them calculate it for them. And, and, the, and these tables, you know, uh, you know, we, we've looked at these tables over the years and, and, and they're not easy to follow. I mean, it's not a simple way to, to do it. So I know we have to take money out of these things, but they don't make it easy on how to figure out how much you have to take out. Let's talk a little bit about that process. Yeah, Mike, they really don't make it easy. You know, there are tables involved and the tables are based on life expectancy. And so when you first start, it's a smaller amount. It's based on the balances that you have as of 1231. As you get older, while those balances are, are changing, so is the amount that you have to take out, and it gets to be more and more as you get older and older. Now, let's let's say, for example, you know, the average person comes to you um, as, as a CP. You know, you're going to take care of their taxes, and you sit down with them. They have IRAs. They have to do required distributions from there. What happens if they have two or three IRAs? Well, they have to calculate what the total amount would be for all of the IRAs. They can actually take the the required minimum distribution out of only one of them but it has to be based on all of their IRAs. Now, what happens if they still have a 401k at their old employer and they have an IRA? Has, those well, are separate calculations. Separate calculations, but again, they can take it out of one of the retirement accounts. So what happens when you have a client that comes in to see you? You know, you're taking care of their taxes and a client comes in to see you and they have a couple different IRAs and they have an old 401k. How, how does that calculation work? Because it's different. It is different. So for the IRAs, again, you would calculate it based on the total amount and you take the distribution from an IRA or from all of the IRAs. For the 401k, you have to do the calculation and you have to take the required minimum distribution from the 401k. And so if you have multiple accounts, you could end up taking multiple distributions. Absolutely. And, and that's one of the reasons, folks, why we when we look at this as, you know, retirement is supposed to be simple, it's supposed to be enjoyable, it's not supposed to be stressful. And to me, it makes sense that once you stop working, you don't want money to be at your old employer. You don't want money to be scattered about. You, you know, you want to consolidate these into to a, a couple right. IRAs. And, and, and sometimes people, I think, get nervous that all their eggs are in one basket. And, right. and we always explain that just because you have all your money in an IRA with the bank or with your advisor or you know with Schwab or Fidelity or wherever it happens to be as long as all your money isn't in the same investment vehicle it doesn't it's not all in the same basket but certainly for the calculation purposes of, of figuring out how to take money out it seems to me it's much simpler if you can look at one 1231 value as you said absolutely and do one calculation and get one number you're so right we're gonna take a break here but when we come back we're gonna continue our conversation about RMDs, what it means to you, and some of the factors you need to consider as you move into retirement. If you would like our guide to RMDs and your silent partner, call the number you see on your screen. It's a step-by-step -step guide to help you make smart choices about your money. Give us a call and we'll send out our guide at no cost to you.
Interested in learning more about planning for your financial future? Join Michael Kinnett, host of The Savvy Investor and best-selling author in person for an important, life-changing financial workshop on the following dates and start taking control of your future. If you are ready to discover the financial tools and strategies that can help you build the retirement of your dreams, just call 1-800-787-SAVVY today to reserve your spot. Want to lower your taxes by as much as 25% this year? If you think Uncle Sam has taken too much of your hard-earned money, it's time you did something about it. Our specialists and attorneys have over 100 years of experience helping hardworking retirees just like you. For a limited time, we're giving $99 income tax preparation appointments to everyone who calls and mentions this offer. Our licensed team of professionals can help assist you with sound tax planning, financial planning, and investment management. Taxes are too important to let just anyone prepare your returns. Call ProStatus at 800-787-SAVVY or visit ProStatusFinancial.com to ensure you get all you've earned. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work to protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call us today for a free strategy session at 800-787-SAVVY. It's not too late to start protecting your assets right away. 800-787-SAVVY. Now keep in mind that just like any tool, there's the right tool for the right job and a wrong tool for the wrong job. We've just scratched the surface here, and you'll want to know more about how today's conversation might or might not fit your needs. Ask about fees, surrender charges, market risk, interest rate risks, how the guarantees work, liquidity, and much more. Remember, the right tool for the right job. Welcome back. Today we're talking about RMDs and answering question Americans who have qualified accounts, who are turning seven and a half, they need to know what they need to do about these RMDs. And we're here with Ed Williams, he's a CPA and RMD expert, and, and I have a couple more questions for him, but before we go there, let's answer some viewer emails. From Jim and Towson, Jim talks about having a Roth IRA. Now we all know that a Roth IRA isn't taxable while Jim's alive, but Jim wants to know when he passes away, he knows he doesn't have to do RMDs himself, but when he passes away, what happens to his heirs? Well, the heirs have to continue with the required minimum distributions as if Jim was still alive. So they're going to take out, based on the tables, uh, the amounts that would be calculated. So even though Jim doesn't have to do required distributions, the kids are forced to take it out? Absolutely. And that's because Uncle Sam wants you spending that money so they can get it taxed someplace. That's that, correct. that makes perfect sense. Now, for Mark in Clearwater, Florida, Mark is a small business owner, and his, one of his first employees is getting ready to hit 70 and a half. And the question Mark has is, is he still required to make contributions to the, the employer plan on behalf of his employee, even he, though he's 70 and a half? Even though he's 70 and a half, he still has to make those contributions into the, the plan, and he also has to make sure that he's offering the plan to the employee. If he doesn't, then it could potentially put the plan in jeopardy. Now, what about, you know, if I'm 70 and a half and I'm the employee, you know, Mark, Mark is still putting money into the plan and I'm still working. But if I'm 70 and a half, am I required to do it? Because we've talked about at seven and a half, you have to take money out of these plans. At seven and a half, am I forced to start taking required minimum distributions? Well, the answer would generally be no, unless you're a 5% owner of the business. So great. So it, it, for people that are thinking about, and this is, this is part of strategies that you need to think about when you're, when you're working with an advisor, if you're still working past seven and a half, you know, the, the, the common approach for most people is that, hey, you want to roll that 401k into an IRA as soon as you can. But the fact is, is if you're going to work past seven and a half, it may make sense to leave the 401k with your former employer. Absolutely. Perfect. Now, when we went to break, we had talked about RMDs and, and, and how to get it out and how to calculate it. One of the things that I think that, that, that I want to go back and address again is, you know, that 50% penalty, because that's huge. I mean, it, it's huge. It is. And what can a, a person do? You know, will the IRS waive that? You know, I know if, if you forget to pay your taxes timely, there's ways to abate the penalties and interest. Will the IRS abate that penalty, that 50% penalty? 
It's not guaranteed that they will, but they do in most cases. Unfortunately, though, it's a real arduous process because you, you do have to prove that it was an error and that you're taking the steps necessary to correct the error. Also, you have to pay the 50% penalty and the tax and then ask the IRS for forgiveness and can I have my money back? Oh, nice. So, so we have to wait for them to get around to it. That's correct. Right. And as always, you know, the IRS is on top of these things and they'll probably come back to you within a week or two or no. maybe not so much. I think it's probably more like a three to four month process. Probably three to four month process. Ed, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been great having you. Um, you're an expert on RMDs and the information you provided today, I think everybody's going to benefit from. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we're going to go through the takeaways of today. If you have questions or need answers about your RMD, drop us a line. Each week, our experts will address viewer mail. You can email us your questions or go to our website, thesavvyinvestortv.com, and click on Contact Us. Interested in learning more about planning for your financial future? Join Michael Kinnett, host of The Savvy Investor and best-selling author in person for an important, life-changing financial workshop on the following dates and start taking control of your future. If you are ready to discover the financial tools and strategies that can help you build the retirement of your dreams, just call 1-800-787-SAVVY today to reserve your spot. Want to lower your taxes by as much as 25% this year? If you think Uncle Sam has taken too much of your hard-earned money, it's time you did something about it. Our specialists and attorneys have over 100 years of experience helping hardworking retirees just like you. For a limited time, we're giving $99 income tax preparation appointments to everyone who calls and mentions this offer. Our licensed team of professionals can help assist you with sound tax planning, financial planning, and investment management. Taxes are too important to let just anyone prepare your returns. Call ProStatus at 800-787-SAVVY or visit ProStatusFinancial.com to ensure you get all you've earned. If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800 787 Savvy. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work. To protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call us today for a free strategy session at 800-787-SAVVY. It's not too late to start protecting your assets right away. 800-787-SAVVY. Now keep in mind that just like any tool, there's the right tool for the right job and a wrong tool for the wrong job. We've just scratched the surface here, and you'll want to know more about how today's conversation might or might not fit your needs. Ask about fees, surrender charges, market risk, interest rate risks, how the guarantees work, liquidity, and much more. Remember, the right tool for the right job. Today we were joined by CPA Ed Williams. In our conversations with Ed, he explained how RMDs can be confusing and intimidating, so it's important to remember what you learned on the show today. Our three takeaways? You have a silent partner in your retirement accounts. Remember, you must take your RMD starting at age 70 and a half. Number two, the number changes every year. Make sure you sit down with a financial advisor, or better yet, your tax advisor, and calculate your RMD each and every year. And number three, that 50% penalty. Everyone who has a qualified retirement plan must take their RMD or be subject to the largest penalty in the tax code. Thank you very much to Ed, and thank you for joining us. We'll see you, the Savvy Investor, next week.
If you would like our guide to RMDs and your silent partner, call the number you see on your screen. It's a step-by-step -step guide to help you make smart choices about your money. Give us a call and we'll send out our guide at no cost to you. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work. To protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call us today for a free strategy session at 800-787-SAVVY. It's not too late to start protecting your assets right away. 800-787-SAVVY. If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800 787 Savvy. Every retiree's goal, from our perspective, is to take the least amount of risk possible to accomplish your goals. Too often, financial advisors and stockbrokers assess your risk tolerance. Just because you can tolerate the risk doesn't mean you have to accept it. Remember, at the end of the day, it isn't how much you make, it is how much you keep. If you would like more information about today's topic, you can contact our offices or visit us on the web at thesavvyinvestortv.com. When you visit our website, sign up for our free weekly newsletter where we give you tidbits each week to help you make smart money choices.